Hello, everybody, and welcome to something very different. I have just reached 10,000 subscribers, and I've wanted to do some kind of little special video that's going to be outrageously, outrageously candid, and just scroll through all of my uploads, which is going to maybe take a while. I'll, I'll try to make it quick, but it will not be. And I just want to go through everything and kind of revisit the history of my channel, because so many of you are completely brand new here and don't realize <laughs> the uh, the crazy scope of my channel, how long I've been doing this, and I don't know, I just wanted to talk about it and maybe go down memory lane a little bit and explain maybe a, a couple things about some series and why some stopped and why, I don't know, why things kind of shaped out the way they did. And uh, there's going to be one major thing you're you're going to notice, and that's that I started six years ago. I think that it's maybe going to hit the seven-year mark very shortly here. I, I've been doing this for seven years. Like, that's insane. Uh, ever since... Here, let's click this. My, my first video here on my entire channel is a League of Legends spotlight. Like, uh, or not spotlight, but like a bad replay. Like, there wasn't even replays in the game at all. No spectating or anything. It's just a... Nothing really special happening League of Legends video for 30 seconds there. That's the first video on my channel, and that's <laughs> that's what made me start. Is, uh, like, I watched a couple, like, League of Legends videos, and I was like, okay, now's the time where I'm actually going to jump in and do it. Because I, I, I watched some videos up to that point. Uh, when I was younger, I actually did even, like, record myself playing video games with a camcorder, like, pointed at the screen. The first time I did it was, like, Oh god, I can't remember how old I was. It was I was under I was like I must have been like just eleven or something. I, I can't remember the earliest one, but I think it was like a god a Godzilla game and I, I pointed the camera at the TV and it was just oh my goodness. But anyways, I I gotta probably pick up the pace here. Can't can't stay this long on, on the first video. But yeah, I was doing League of Legends videos. I wanted to do other stuff. That was always the the goal was never to just stay to do League of Legends only. Uh, but right here, I got a, a huge, like, huge boost of views because I thought through this video of just me playing on the test realm on Reddit, and it got an insane hundred, like, hundred thousand views of it is from like that day, and I got like sixty subscribers. That's where that's where I was right here. Man, the frame rate on this is bad. Does that matter? We're just viewing my video feed. But yeah, that. I, at this point, I was at about 60 subscribers. All of those people thought this was going to be a League of Legends channel. Much to their surprise, right here is kind of where I barely went back to it. I, I was, went and I did a Sanctum video that's a like a tower defense game with a couple friends from, like, real-life friends. And I was, you know, from there, I was like, okay, we ain't really going back. It's a Magic the Gathering with real-life friend. Uh, but then my first series... Surprise, surprise, is uh, is a Minecraft series here. Let's, I just, can we talk about this for a second? <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna, I'm gonna be so embarrassed, but I'm just gonna be, like, also listen. Punch, 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 punch. That's me syncing my audio, and I meant to, I meant to cut it out. Welcome to Little Island Survival with me. Oh boy. I sounded so relaxed back then. Boy, I have grown. I, I'm more stressed out than ever, but yeah, I did I did a, a Minecraft series, and uh, I don't know, it was it was fun actually. Like I I like that series in my head. I have positive feelings towards it because well, it was the first time I did like a solo series that wasn't League of Legends. I moved on. I did some Diablo three, something you're gonna see popping up in the video feed a lot from here on out. It's definitely. If there's no game on the channel that I have revisited more than Diablo, like it's not my longest series, but like uh, aside from Gungeon, there's probably more Diablo three videos on the series than anything else. But yeah, I even went on, I did a couple achievement guides. I was like, okay, are we a Diablo three channel? I I don't know. Let's play some Torchlight. That's kind of Diablo-ish. Like, I don't know. I, at, th at that point, I was like, okay, I don't know. Maybe I'm going to be an action RPG channel. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I was still I was still back home. I was living with my parents at this point. 
Uh, I was, oh god, I, how old was I? I'm 24 now. This is, I, I think I was like 17. I think I was probably 17 when I started my channel. Maybe, maybe even 16? I don't know. But yeah, I'm, I'm 24 now. Uh, just turned 24. And, am I right? Yes, I am. I'm getting up there. <laughs> that is such a cop out. Uh, but yeah, then I went on, I did Paper Mario, which ended up being the first series that I actually completed. Spoilers. How <laughs> Spoilers for later in the video here. I only had four videos and then I ran into technical issues. I came back to it later though. Um, but then after that, you see right here, there's actually the first, the first time I used this little glow border here, which totally does not do the intended effect in dark mode, which I exclusively use now. The idea was kind of have it stand out a little bit, make it have like a cool little fade in when you view it on the YouTube page. Doesn't work for dark mode, but it's still kind of like a, I don't know. I just, at this point, it feels weird to get rid of it. That's really all that it's there for. I played some Borderlands. I did a channel update. And this is <laughs> like the last time I ever did that. Back in 2012, six years ago, five years ago. It says, okay, so yeah, all this is probably going to, uh, knock up uh, one year in just a short amount of time here. But yeah, Torchlight 2. And here's the the first time I, I had a series that actually kind of hit it big that was not just a random League of Legends video. And that's Scribble Knots Unlimited. I'm actually going to pop over. I opened up my <laughs> old uh, avatars here too. It is insane to look at these now. This was early 2012. This was like, I, I hadn't, started playing Paper Mario yet even. This is the first real time where, um, this is kind of when I decided that when I did art and thumbnails for my video, I kind of wanted to make myself into the character. So I kind of warped that and made my thumbnail. I actually like this thumbnail. Yeah, subtract the subtract the text on the bottom. I like it quite a bit more than the, the next one, honestly. Um, obviously it's a Paper Mario themed one, but I hadn't played the game yet, so whatever. I kept that for maybe half a year, and then I moved on to this one for like a couple months, and then I cleaned it up and turned it into this one, which I think is a big improvement from that one, because this is a, a Scribblenauts character made to look like me. I kept that for quite a while, like two years down here until I moved to this one, which is actually drawn by Dracula Fetus, known mostly for um, uh, Northern Lions thumbnails and everything like that. Uh, so I used that one for two years before I decided, whoop, don't mind, open, oh, problems. I'll, okay, well, we'll just let that open and then I'll close it. I used that for like two years until I decided two years ago that I kind of wanted to make it my own art because the all my thumbnails are drawn by me. So why not just have the avatar be drawn by me too? Okay, yeah, let's get rid of that. Okay, let's move a little bit quicker. We're already eight minutes in. Holy hell. 100th video celebration! Oh, goodness gracious. Let's see how good that is. Hello, okay, everyone. we don't need to look at that. All right. <laughs> but yeah, Scribblenauts Unlimited did amazing for how small of a channel I was at this time. If I were to guess where I was in subscribers, I might have been at, like, about 100. So, you know, slow growing for the first year. Like, really slow growing. Uh, more Torchlight... Maybe I have more Torchlight series than I remember. Uh, some, yeah, some hardcore co-op. That's kind of the first time I did like a hardcore series. Kind of, I don't know. You kind of see an ants of what my channel's going to become. Shank, uh, kind of a. I mean, I know Torchlight is an indie game, but kind of a more indie style game. It was pretty. It was a pretty huge uh, jump from what I was doing at the time, though being a little bit more gory in an adult See, Even, like, I was self-conscious about it at the time. Look at the title. This game has gore. I didn't put that there because I was like, okay, we're making a funny title. I put that there because I was like, oh, man. All 100 of my subscribers, who half of which are only here for League of Legends, are going to be worried about the gore in this game. That's why I put that there. I played it for three episodes. You're going to see a huge... <laughs> oh, you're going to see a huge trend here of both my complete and utter ability to stick with something and my complete inability to stick with something mashed into one big thing. The, I, I'm still uploading to this channel. Like, basically, 
what did I say, six or seven years later? But <laughs> I can't stick with a series at all for a couple of reasons. I'm going to take a drink here because I'm going to run out of saliva in my mouth. Keeping it candid. Okay. Yeah, Scribble Knots Unlimited went for a while. I got my Wii U. I thought it was fun. Nobody was really doing Wii U. Like, or it, it, it just came out. Not a lot of people was, were doing stuff with it yet. Uh, that series actually did okay. The Battle Quest series. First game that I would probably even play on my channel still is uh, Dungeons Dragons Day. Yeah, a lot. However, it reminds me of. Uh, I'll listen to that microphone. Arg, I'm. If I remember I correctly, have... yeah. Please, we need okay, your I'm gonna close points. out of all these comments. I'll look at them after. Why? But yeah, it's kind of like. Oh, Are you man, gonna... my recording setup was so bad. It was really choppy and everything. Uh, we finished up Scribble Knots Unlimited here. It was a bittersweet title, just because whatever. Uh, it ended. And then I went and I was going to do all the object charge, whatever. But here's Paper Mario. It came back. I switched. I actually, I got it on a different console. I think I, this is on Wii U. And then I, uh, then I went and actually finished it up all the way. So maybe, okay. No, Scribble Knots Unlimited was my first one I actually finished. I just didn't 100% it. But yeah, uh, these thumbnails were done much later. Like, you're going to see a couple of thumbnails here that are... They seem kind of newer, but that's just because I went back and I had a fun time making some and, and drawing stuff. But yeah, this thumbnail, they were just all standard thumbnails, kind of like these other ones for a long time. But Moonbase Alpha, this is the first time you're going to see my semi-current drawing style. But like I said, I just drew that a long time later and updated it. And here we go, more Minecraft <laughs> Because maybe I'm a Minecraft channel, which I definitely was not. In fact, I joined like a server and did collaboration. Sort of my first time doing a collaboration with people I didn't know. Kind of, but it was just like a weird like little tour video. Not weird because it, yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm not going to, I wasn't ever going to be a Minecraft channel. And I knew that. But FTL, definitely, definitely would play that now. Definitely would play that now. I don't know why I said the same thing twice. Okay, fun little game, indie game. Yeah, there's definitely definitely more hints of what my channel is going to be in the future showing up here. These thumbnails were definitely I should stop saying that. Definitely <laughs> added in later. I know that. I I drew them out like oh when did I start doing that? Maybe maybe twenty fourteen. Kind of like when I, uh, kind of around the time I got the Dracula fetus thumbnail. It's kind of when I got inspired to really take it in my own hands and, and draw some stuff. Megabyte Punch. I, this series went amazingly well, and I still get people commenting on it and stuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Everything's freezing up here. I guess I don't need to highlight stuff. I'll just point out. Yeah, the series went awesome, and, uh was a lot of fun indie game that got a lot of views that was kind of an exciting thought prospect to me i think we're starting to see the the seeds being planted here i, I played that and it's kind of like a super smash brothers-esque platforming type challenge made by the people who made lethal league reptile games uh really really fun game just kind of canceled the series though i think they kind of stopped development on the game Naughty Bear. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're going to see, I have some resentment for a couple of these series that I'm going to point out. If you like these series, I'm sorry. <laughs> Naughty Bear, I don't know why. Like, a couple of years back, it just exploded, and I get tons of comments on it. I think, I think it was, like, after the Game Grumps did a video on it, they played, like, an episode or two and then stopped, and then everybody somehow... It must have got linked to mine. Same with, I don't know why I played Jetpack Joyride. I guess it was just blind fun. Metroid. This was a really fun series. This was the one of the first ones I went into. Oh, God. Oh, God. We haven't even talked about this yet. You're going to see this a lot in my, ch my channel for a couple years before I dumped it. I made this myself. Can you tell? I, I put it on every single video, and I... Maybe we'll figure out a way to, to go back and get rid of it. But yeah, um, Metroid. Metroid. One of the first series I did super preparing for. I played it a couple, like, one or two times before I launched the series. I made these special little things. 
to track my progress on the side. They uh, and I colored them in when I got the thing. I think it's pretty neat. This is actually like a solid series, uh, and I am proud of it. I was really relaxed when I was talking to it. I was still living with my parents. No reason not to be relaxed. Mario Party 9. Uh, okay. Yeah, I just did some more collaborations with friends, real-life friends. And, yeah, I don't know. Not much to talk about here. I think I... This may be the time where... I went off to college. Yes, it is. I went out to college about here at maybe maybe the time I started doing... I think the Injustice demo is the first thing I recorded in my college dorm. And I did not like college at all. I, I stayed for a little, a little while there. Didn't do so hot. Didn't like it very much. Didn't really care about it. But we moved on. We did, yeah, Injustice. I think I finally finished Paper Mario somewhere in here. Like a Lord of the Rings. Actually a really fun game. But uh, I have some re high resentment toward LEGO games that I will explain right here by pointing at a, <laughs> a bizarre number that I cannot explain. You are not seeing this wrong. LEGO City Undercover number four. Let me point that out. Number four. Not number one. Not number two, not number three. Number four has 2.1 million views. Why? I have no idea. I could never figure it out. I, I've tried. I don't understand. I'm not complaining, but I do not understand. Uh, only in the past year have I dethroned it for monthly views. Gungeon has finally, finally dethroned this monstrosity that I just, it's a blemish on my heart. It skewed my, my channel statistics for, for five years. I don't understand why it happened. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you can say I'm not in it for the money because if I was in it for the money, I would be a Lego channel right now, boys and girls. But I glazed over another huge series that I, one of my more positive feelings, like, Chan or, uh, video series that I have positive feelings towards from a long time ago. God, we gotta pick it up. This is gonna be an hour long video. Uh, Chippy Robo. Really, really, really fun game. Random, like, hidden ish gem on the GameCube. It was a long series. I think it ended up being my longest at the time. 500 subscriber special five years ago. Oh my goodness. But yeah, Chippy Robo is an awesome series. There's that monstrosity. Oi, oi, oi. I can't take it. Yeah, there's insert coin. That's the, the name of the stock-free sound uh, or music that I played for quite a while. I'll just flip through this a little bit. I was actually pretty proud of this video at the time. There's nothing bad. This is like one of the brief periods of times I did like some kind of editing. God knows I don't do that anymore. Uh, Kirby's Adventures, another series I did in a very, very similar vein to the Metroid. There, if you, you know, if you watch it here, there's kind of like a little bit of a, you know, oh, no. side editing, keeping track of stuff. I think I got kind of sloppy with it near the end. I don't know if it was tracked very properly. Oh boy, new channel, Retromation Vlogs. I don't have a hidden face or anything. I like if you join my Discord or anything, you'll see like all all the emotes are my face. I've shown my face. I just like don't feel like getting ready to do a, a, a webcam. That's all. Like I need a haircut super bad right now. I was thinking of doing a webcam, but yep, Retromation Vlogs. It has been uh, gutted and turned into another channel which I did not use with 36 subscribers. My Discord <laughs> uh, made meme status with hashtag Retromation Vlogs when. Uh, a little bit ago, like, okay, one year ago, effectively, I co-opted that and made Retrovision Vlogs now. But, all the old videos are gone. Oh, this is another thing I wanted to point out, I guess. My analytics page, These are this is my subscribers. I think it's just interesting to point out. This is right when I, like, started, put it up the League of Legends stuff. This right here is the, uh, this is sorted by week, by the way. Um, I put up the Reddit video. Crazy, crazy viewers. Everybody started leaving when they realized I'm not a League of Legends channel. And a whole bunch of nothing for a long time. And then it boop, boop, boop. And it exploded this past week. I have no idea. No, I have some idea why. 
Uh, the Gungeon update's coming out. Dunkey put out a video. A couple, eh, there's a couple things. Okay, I gotta start moving. Oh my god. All right, we're gonna skip through a couple things. Yeah, I played some, did some more stuff with Real Life Friends. Came back for, I don't know, came back for this summer or something for school. Or maybe that was when I was already gone. More Lego City. Lego City and Chibi Robo run at the same time. Boy, oh boy, Star Fox Adventures. Yeah. Okay, here we go. This is the first time I drew my own thumbnail from scratch. It, these look okay. I don't know. Like, for the game, it looks pretty close to the game. But, and then I did the Donkey Kong one, which I personally think is an abomination. Oh, baby. Rogue Legacy. Is he gonna be a roguelite channel? Yeah, spoilers, yes. Uh, here's the first test footage for Couch Couple. Two years before it actually launched, I think. We were, me and my girlfriend Grace, were planning on doing Couch Couple for a long time. Uh, getting to the point where Chibi Robo's about to end. This is my first attempt at streaming. Happened right here. Uh, no, I don't want to click on it. <laughs> I know there's a, a webcam in there that I'm not, not proud of. But, yeah, I started to do some streaming, then I did some clips. I, I do want to get back to streaming. I'll, I just, I'm so unorganized with everything. Hearthstone, this is a game that I have very recently played on my channel. Definitely, definitely getting to the points where my real current channel is actually about to start. Uh, Chibi Robo ending, Starbound, I would totally play that now. Hearthstone, have played that now. Animal Crossing, I don't know. I'm still kind of confused at this point. This is before Nintendo really kind of cracked down and copyrighted everything under the goddamn sun. Uh, I love Animal Crossing. I love Nintendo games. Uh, Scribblenauts on Mask I played on Wii U as well. Uh, because, you know, Scribblenauts had a big part in my channel. I also forgot to mention, this is actually where I started doing my thumbnail drawings right. Oh, shoot. I missed it, didn't I? Did I skip over it? Like, I, and by that I mean in my current style. No, these ones I just, I went back and redrew these ones. It actually started with, uh, with Animal Crossing, I think. Animal Crossing and, um, and 3D Dot Game Heroes. I did around the same exact time. I think I did them the same day, even. Uh, I got my thumbnail from Dracula Fetus. I was kind of inspired by it. I was like, okay, let's kind of shape things a little bit more. I want to draw my own stuff. And here's, uh, Quick Play. So here's I definitely want to revisit some point. I started with some Ludum Dare games, which are, you know, indie games made for a little game jam. Um, I don't know. Uh-oh. Yeah, just okay. like completely yeah, obscure milk. games. I, then I moved to... Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, moved into some less obscure games. Pressure was the first game I ever was given a code for. I remember that very firmly. I did... It, I did express it in the video. It like sponsored videos were less um weird then. I uh, I think I might have gotten Crystal Catacombs as well around the same time. I was like, all right, this is this is kind of fun. This could be something I'd do. Crystal Catacombs probably. Oh, I'm super wrong. This is definitely the first thumbnail I drew. Super wrong. I did this one and then I re went back. I had a lot of fun drawing it, and I redid these ones, and then I went back shortly after and redid like a bunch of random ones here and there that you saw but this is the first the key, uh real there's also an real roguelite that i've done funny thing is i was playing it in uh <laughs> like 144 frames per second i messed up the game completely and it made it really hard and i didn't know that so i thought it was this really really hard game but it was only kind of hard for there's just some weird bug um random tidbit diablo 3 it's back baby this series uh, still gets a lot of viewership. I think it's it's ranked somewhere pretty high when you just search, like, let's play Diablo 3 or something like that. So I think that that's why it gets a lot of views. Um, and it's a big reason why you'll still see Diablo here and there. I, compl I did this series. I completed it right when Reaper of Souls came out, that big expansion. And it did okay. Like, it actually, when I was doing it, it did mediocre. But kind of near the middle end, it sort of picked up a bit. And here's, here's our sweet baby boy, Etheron369. I still collaborate with Etheron. I, we're still, 
Are Etheron and Retromation still friends? Yes, I we did a, did a video very recently. Uh, uh, this is my first no, collaboration with other people besides that this one on little. Fire. I should not oh, be listen using to Etheron. His voice is not quite. Can I use this? As oh, deep right. as it is now. <laughs> what a surprise! It happens when you age. But yeah, uh, I did a collaboration with Etheron three six nine twitch.tv slash etheron369 go follow he's real funny i like him a lot and tk force i have not talked to him since i did these videos i imagine he's still he's still nice i don't know if he still does videos i've just i don't know we never talked ever after these videos uh there's a brief little bit of time where i was actually gonna animate my own videos i was really into oh, this i actually really proud lovely. of this like, oh, for what it is. Now you're gonna die. I mean, Let's stop shooting. For somebody who's never animated it's anything ever before in their yeah, life, I'm really. Just flying to the sunset. Well, I try <laughs> to join you. I want to just make this a. a, a <laughs> I mean, okay, you can watch all these things if you want by searching the titles. We got to get book in here. We're not even halfway done. Let's do some scrolling. Legend of Zelda, still confused about if I'm going to be playing console games or not. I did. This is my first time just doing a video alone with Etheron. That was actually a really, really fun series. I, you know, some of these, some of these series with Etheron, I actually do go back and watch still. Uh, yeah, more Etheron, and here's some more streams. And right here, <laughs> I played Secret of the Magic Crystals. This was my first guest artist <laughs> thumbnail series, and my only one. Etheron uh, offered <laughs> to draw the thumbnails for these, and I, I actually, I love them. They're really good. And this is, yeah, this is the Etheron period of my channel. A lot of, a lot of collaboration stuff with him for that brief period of time. And then I think I suck at schedules and never can, never can stick to stuff like that. I don't know. I brought back Lego City Undercover because this was when the uh, video started to, the fourth one started to blow up for some reason. Um, I don't know. I, I, and I, I kind of wanted to play it. I. <laughs> I don't know. Like, maybe, should I have gone back to it? Maybe not. I kind of just wanted to keep see what was happening with all those people. See, it was like I was. Should I become a Lego channel? And then I was because I don't think so. Very glad I did not. Very glad I didn't. Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke. I actually love Nuzlocke Pokemon runs. I'm playing one on like my Game Boy right now, actually. Uh, but series got canceled like right before the end because I was really terrified. That's when with Wonderful 101 and that I was uh, super terrified that I was going to lose my channel over uh, Nintendo's policies. Uh, more Diablo, Costume Quest. This is the first time I did like a s special seasonal kind of series. Oh, baby. Here's the start. I'd say these right here, these these videos... 2014, October 2014. That's probably, if, if I could erase everything before that, this is probably really when my channel in its current form started. I uh, So I can manage that, but like, hopefully we can get to my audio quality soon. And you know, solid. The you game is, it's a roguelite. I'm super interested in and everything like two. that. We played for quite a while. Uh, awesome, awesome game, by the way. Like, if you have not played Ziggurat, and you like roguelites, go play Ziggurat. Uh, but yeah, I played that, and it went awesome, awesome. I Then I started My Name Isaac. Uh, Rebirth, obviously. Sorry. Ugh. Gotta get a drink. Ugh. And My Name Isaac became, at the time, my new biggest series. Ziggurat was close, or maybe was higher at some point. They're kind of competing for what is my biggest series going to be. I think pretty, yeah, you can see it's pretty closely contested there. Disco Dodgeball, Darkest Dungeon. This is the first time I played Darkest Dungeon, and I didn't play it very long. I liked it a lot, but I think, like, I don't know. It was getting bad views compared to other stuff. I did another quick foray back into streaming. Nuclear Throne. What do you notice here? Everything on the page is a roguelite. Retromation's on Patreon. Guess what? Retromation's still on Patreon. He's just afraid to say anything about it because, uh... 
he uh, he gets a, a little bit of uh, bombardment of of <laughs> dislikes on that video, so he's afraid to talk about it ever ever since then. Um, but yeah, God Forever Remix. They actually use my gameplay and commentary in the trailer for the game on Steam. Really cool. I, I like that a lot. <laughs> Obviously, um, yeah, uh, Ziggurat was doing awesome. Binding of Isaac was doing mediocre, but I just liked it so much that I wasn't going to stop. Funny thing about Titan Souls, also a really good game. This was supposed to be a series, but I was so dang good at the game. I played through it once, and then I was so dang good after that that I was like, oh, this is just going to be a vi one video. So I just made it a full game full game walkthrough, and it did okay. Aw, oh, man. I'm going to have to talk. Okay, I'm going to close out of those. I'll, com I'll reply to comments and stuff later. Yeah, this we're definitely all in on... Um, roguelites here and we have look at that retromation league of legends i uploaded 10 videos um there's catch couple we'll talk about that later yeah i don't know at, at that point i was like okay we know that this is this is not a league of legends channel anymore let's see what we can i don't know but i wanted to play it i just got back into it again rogue look did we already i think this is not where it started i think we did some up there I should have talked about that. Quick, it's it was basically quick play, but I played the game for thirty minutes. Uh, yeah, I think the rule was I played the game for thirty minutes and and reviewed, kind of reviewed it. It had to be a roguelike or roguelite, and then I after my little timer went off, I decided like, do I want to keep playing or do I want to stop? And you know, like you can kind of judge if I liked it based off of that. And we just, I don't know, that'd be a fun thing to go back to. It just kind of got muddied with quick play and. I just I started up quick play again and just included roguelites. More Diablo. What a shock. What a surprise. Binding of Isaac lasted longer than Ziggurat, even though it got a lot less views. Just because it was it was fun. There's that boy Etheron. That boy Etheron is back. We did a, a short little series of Binding of Isaac Rebirth, where I had probably ten times the amount of time played as as Etheron. <laughs> so uh, it was kind of a stomp. It was very unfair from the beginning, but th that was really, really fun. We did reboot the series with Afterbirth, and I like those a lot more, just because I maybe just because they're more recent. Uh, we did Wild Star. It's kind of a, a fun, more personal series. I remember because it was it kind of fulfilled my want that I will fulfill later to play an MMO on my channel. Uh, it, like I wanted to always wanted to play World of Warcraft because it's been deep and personal to me, like deeply personal to me. Um, but yeah, it was a little bit more casual. Banner Saga that was really fun, but nobody liked this series, so it stopped. Duelist, that was a really really fun time. Uh, there was a maybe like one week where I played that game competitively. It's like a, a it plays like a turn or turn based strategy game mixed with card game elements. Really cool by some Diablo devs. I think I was even, like, I auditioned to be a voice actor in it at one point. Uh, really cool game. I should check it out. I heard that they made some changes to it to make it less, um... There was, like, a, a couple weeks where it was, or maybe months where it was pay to win, and I don't know, I think I dropped it because of that. There's a video of my girlfriend meeting our local... This is not anything related to it. Also, be warned, the video started off in... And then I rotate it, but okay. I gotta show this. This is has nothing to do with anything. This I uploaded this to show Etheron. This is our our local neighborhood albino squirrel Daisy. We have not seen her in a while. I don't think she's dead. I think she moved because I'm pretty sure we we saw her a couple like a, a few blocks out. This was a while ago though. I don't know what squirrel lifespan is, but I refuse to believe that she's no longer around. She is the best. She is the best. Okay. That has nothing to do with video games. But, okay. Ballpoint Universe. That was given to me by friend and Discord mod Vlad Pax. That was actually a really, really fun series. I love the art style of that game. More uh, Binding of Isaac series. Kind of shifted to Afterbirth. This is the first time where you can see, like, I kind of did something like I'm going to do way off in the future with Gungeon where I have the thumbnails kind of be like how I have them but then I you know have a little bit of influence about what the episode's going to be I think that's a smart idea I should probably do that more um 
makes the thumbnails less samey. More Diablo. Spellweaver. Uh, let's see. Card games. Card games. First sponsored series. Game was... It was pretty good. Like, it was not that exciting. Uh, I had a, like, really... I don't know. Sloppy relationship with the people who sponsored it, though. So I have a bad, bad mental, like, thought back to it. Um, but the game, the game's not bad. It's like, it was a lot like Hearthstone. I think the devs, and this happened long past the videos, I think the devs did abandon the game entirely. So I don't know. Those videos probably aren't accurate anymore. Path of Exile. I uh, should play that again. Like, the Sears went well. I liked it and everything. I, yeah. I should have, I should play that again. I don't, I ended it just because I suck at sticking to things and except for my YouTube channel. Test video, Thousand Year Door test. This is actually the real time where Catch Couple is going to come back for reels this time. Um, yeah, after birth and I had Slime Rancher do that thing with the thumbnails. Oh, gee. What do we have here? Die. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new game. Enter the Gungeon. <laughs> ha! Ha! Shut up. March 23rd, 2016. That's when uh, I devote my life to Gungeon. Take note of this exact shade of pink. You're going to see it a lot. Let's go down here. I believe there's going to be a time where... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, it's effectively almost the <laughs> only thing on this screen. Yeah, I am a, I'm a roguelite channel. I know this now. I still want to foray back into like some other different kind of things. I still do from time to time. Played Overwatch here. Absolutely destroyed my computer for some reason. Overheated, had to open it up. Freaked me out. Uh, it's... I think it shows up in the videos too. I think I... I think they got really, really choppy and stuff. Uh, went back to Captain Forever Remix because I saw that I was in the trailer. And I was like, oh, that's really nice. I want to support the game a little bit more. The full release came out. Uh, actually, really, really fun game. Uh, Space Legos is, I think, the quote they used from me in their in their video to promote it. But quick plays back with a couple. They did this game didn't even have a logo, so I didn't have. That's when you see that in the quick plays, it's because the game didn't have a logo for me to use. So I was just like, okay, I'm gonna use Bada Boom, and that's the <laughs> the text that I don't really like to use anymore. I see it everywhere. Old series Sunday suggested by. Friend, <laughs> friend and mod of the Discord, Vlad Pax. Uh, it was a brief little time where I did some games that I stopped playing. It's a good idea. I should do it. I don't know. I just don't. A couple of these. I mean, and if you're watching this, tell me a couple of things that I used to do that you would like to see again. Because if you're going to mention, I stopped doing the series because nobody watched it. I didn't do this because nobody said anything. Like, a lot of these series that ended, if it meant something to you, like... I, a lot of the times I don't get anybody asking where it went. Like, I really... And when I when nobody asks about that, I'm like, okay, I made the right decision. Uh, wasted. Fun game, but gave me immense copyright issues because the songs on the radio in the game, the people who had have the copyrights for it were, like, very, very rigid. So I did not want to play that game. It, I would have played that game more if it was not for them. Seriously, totally. 100%. Good game. Uh, nuclear throne, yeah, 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 let's move more Starbound. What else do we got? Reigns was a fun little series. World of Warcraft finally fulfilled my little dream of playing. I know, like, everybody has is this story with World of Warcraft where they're deeply invested in it. I, my entire, like, high school time, I was playing World of Warcraft, like, like crazy. Uh, here, I think I... I Briefly, briefly went back to college. This is where that was, I think. No, 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 no. That was way back. That was my other Star Round series. That was my other Star Round series. This is, where did I, uh, when did I move here? Where I am now? Oh, it was, a it was a long time ago. I missed that. I think it was somewhere around, oh, geez, I'm going to lose my spot. I think it might have been. It was before Ziggurat. Sometime before Ziggurat, I moved to where I am currently. I'm moving again in a month. Uh, not that that really matters. It's just inter interesting to me to chart that out for me. Uh, this is my current channel trailer that's super out of date and I should change. 
It says, you should watch, I'm, I'm known for Binding of Isaac. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, super not. Oh, man. Where were we? Doesn't really matter. We'll scroll past. Yeah, World of Warcraft. I don't know. I was, I was a little bit more candid in that series, a little bit more uh, loose with what I was talking about. Uh, Cluster Truck marks the first time where you're going to see my new sort of style start to emerge in my thumbnails. Where I had more of a open kind of like layout to it, I guess. I look a lot like uh, Crendor, if anyone knows who that is. It, in that, I really dislike that drawing. It's not very accurate at all. Uh, Goner, this thumbnail I actually still love. Like that's a banger right there. I real good, real good. I spend a lot of time doing my like. I don't know if anyone <laughs> knows, but I spend a lot of time doing my thumbnails. I know they're not amazing. I'm not an artist. I'm not. Like, I've never, like, I guess maybe I technically am. But, yeah, this is the first uh, first time in my my new style that I actually liked it. Civilization Five. This is an amazing <laughs> series that I recommend deeply. I'm with Etheron again. Haven't We haven't seen him in a while, but he's back. That series is, is amazing. It's got it all. It's got it all. Heartbreak. I don't know. Love. Planet Coaster. I really like that thumbnail. I really liked that series. Stopped because of viewership, I think. Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, that was really a fun time, but schedules are hard. And I we only did two sessions. I really, really wish we could have continued that. Uh, that was with Etheron, Chap Jackman, uh, and I am Maskey. You can Google search all those to find all their special stuff. Another Pokemon series, which is super out of place at the time, but I just wanted to play it. Like, and I remember, and that's how you know that my ch my channel super shifted at this point. Like, I I mentioned at the beginning, I know this is so out of place. When before I was like, I'm doing Nintendo games, guys. But yeah, Fit People that got fully released sometime a little bit ago. I might check that out again. Super Game Engine Zero, Darkest Dungeon. This is uh, I com first series in a long time that actually had a concrete end. I moved to playing a bunch of games that were just endless, uh, as roguelites tend to be. Oh my god, yes, more Daisy. Um, so it was fun to do Darkest Dungeon and have something that had a concrete end. I actually did see it through. Uh, ended up being something like 70 episodes. Can we just like watch this for a second? I must mute it, though. Uh, here's This is when I first met Daisy. Like, I know that this came after the other video, but this is the first time I met Daisy. Oh, my goodness. I'm a squirrel lover supreme. I don't know if anyone knows this about me. I am a... I, I Okay, ignore this video. Let's scroll down real quick. Uh, that's a private... <laughs> it's not a private... I mean, it, it's an unlisted video. That was something like... I think there's that thing going around about how you if you lick the Switch cartridges, they taste nasty, and I didn't have... A, Snipper Clips didn't have a cartridge. I think that's something like that. All right, moving on. More roguelites. Hollow Knight, super successful series that I canned after seven episodes, but then rebooted. Canned after six episodes, but then rebooted. Super, super fun series. I uh, I look at it very, very fondly. It's fun to have a series that has an end to it, you know? And this is another series that I actually watch. I, I, I think I'm, yeah, I'm halfway through because I was actually watching it recently. I'm halfway through a couple of these. Finish the dang video. See, I can't finish a freaking thing. Uh, yeah, really, really good series. I I had a great time. Etheron was a, a bit better no, no, at the no, game. It's got to be that. I think Bozo is only, uh, you know, because he actually had some time to practice. I don't know. We had a little a little marker on the bottom to see how far ahead we were and stuff like that. I like it. It's I super recommend that to anyone who's interested in Binding of Isaac. Very, very, very good series in my professional opinion. Uh, Mr. Shifty, technical issues, that's why that killed that. Couch Couple, me and my girlfriend have a channel that we uh, temporarily abandoned. We are going to, we're we're moving. I'm getting an office, so I'm actually going to be able to not have to worry about scheduling my recording and stuff like that, scheduling our recording as much, because uh, she works from home. There's just some conflicts about when I can have time to record and stuff like that. Won't be an issue, and we're going to actually reboot this channel when we move, or at least that's the intent. I love this channel. It's very, 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 very fun to do. 
I would love if you would check it out. My name Isaac's back a little while ago. Ruin of the, the Reckless. I wanted to like it a lot, um, but the void got filled by Wizard of Legend that came out. Um, mean the while, mean mean the while, Mod the Gungeon came out episode like two hundred, I think. I I started using it. Still going strong. Immortal Redneck's a lot like Ziggurat. Played to kind of cap recapture that little feeling. Uh, still like my Blizzard games. I I love Blizzard games so so much. I, it's like too much probably. Dead Cells. That is being fully released in about a month. I will almost certainly go back to it. I love that game. I don't I don't know why I stopped that one. Maybe it was viewership or something. Whatever. I think I just am bad at sticking to things. But what else? Final Final Diablo 3 series that we've ever done. Maybe we'll do more if something else comes out with it. I think that they're working on Diablo 4 or something like that. I don't know. Oh, man. There's a... Oh, you could almost have perfect scheduling. Uh, another thing I guess I should talk about. I, I um, This whole time, I've been doing about one video a day. There's times where I was doing two videos a day. There's times where I was doing three videos a day. But that was back when my videos were only like... 12 minutes long. I was like, oh, look at me. I can do three videos a day. Yeah. Three videos a day then at 12 minutes is less than one gungeon a day. That's why That's why I have to keep it low. I might be able to move it back up. Um, whatever, when I can get, a, get my office. End is nigh. Why was that series canceled? Everyone may wonder. I got frustrated. <laughs> it, got, it got harder and I, like... I, I had to record a lot of it for a little bit of footage because I didn't want to show just, you know, two hours of frustration eventually near the end. That's why I can't it. West of Loathing, why did I stop that series? No good reason. I love that game. Uh, maybe viewership. Nope, definitely viewership. Back to Quick Play. Solaria Moon. <laughs> I I commented, uh, I feel kind of bad. I commented on the, the voice actors in the in the game. And how they, you know, they kind of took took me out of it, and the the de devs responded to me, and they said because of that they they reached out and they they hired someone, and they think that it made the game a lot better. And they like I felt kind of bad saying that, but they were like, hey, I think you you know that helped make that criticism helped make the game better. Uh, if it, you know, because they they didn't recognize it was not super high quality or whatever uh, voice acting, but I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll check it out just because they. They did that. Hey, they, they showed some uh, initiative there. That's that's really nice that they would do that and, and tell me that they appreciated that I said something. Tooth and Tail, canceled probably because viewership and because I'm bad. Sticking to things. Fortnite. This was back before it was everywhere on the godforsaken planet. Uh, I actually almost... I don't know, I almost recorded it a little bit ago, but I think I was feeling sick the day and then I just never... Uh, boy. What? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh man. Dry mouth. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll do it again. It just feels kind of weird to do it now. Would you please? <laughs> feels kind of weird to do it now because it's all over the place. I just I don't know. Uh, I was doing a Patreon sponsored series. That's right. I still have a Patreon. I'll talk about it here since I'm being more candid. It's been completely changed since it was first announced. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I feel bad about talking about it? Because seriously, like, the ad revenue is, is down outrageously. Like, I, uh, I was making more just, like, I know, it's weird to talk about the money aspect of it, I guess. But I was making about four times more in 2013. And I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Look, like, my channel now, 10,000 subscribers, I am making one-fourth as much as I was making in, in, in probably, like, 2013, 2014. Um, and it's, yeah, weird. So, what do you... I, I, I think that maybe it's a time where I could feel less weird about asking for Patreon stuff. Boss 101, go check out this game. The devs are so freaking nice. It just came out on Xbox One. Uh, uh, Don, Donley Time Foundation. They're just check out that game. Just check out that game. Nothing much more to say about that. Stop playing it. I don't know why. 
I just suck at sticking with things. Hand of Fate, however, was canceled because viewership was abysmal. Fun game, but yeah, I did. A, I, did a little, uh, I don't really want to listen to it. I did a little remix. I've, I've dabbled in everything. I'm a I'm a jack of all trades, master of absolutely none. Uh, Holland and I started again because this was a rare situation where the outcry of people asking for it actually happened. Uh, a bunch of people commented on episode six, said, "Why didn't you finish this series?" And it came back. Dead Space. This is my first time streaming again recently, uh, like five months ago. I want to do more streaming, but schedules are hard, and I have excuses for days. Uh, but this is the first time where I did shading in my thumbnails, and in my opinion, the thumbnails actually start to look good. I like that thumbnail a lot. I really, really do. There's a uh, you know, Twitch, so you can continue the shading in the thumbnails with Stellaris canceled because viewership. Also because, it, I don't know, it's not as good of a game to record unless you're really deeply good at it. Um, Into the Breach was really, really fun. Slay the Spire, definitely canceled because viewership. Because I, but the viewership was bad because I started it like so, so late. Um, Yeah, Hearthstone, April Fool's Day Checkers. That's actually a really, really fun video uh, with Adtheron. I, I recommend checking that out. Minute. I love this thumbnail. I actually love this thumbnail because of its its crazy simplicity. Really good game. It was fun to do a thing that could I could finish in eight episodes. I technically finished it um in four. That did new game plus. That series went pretty well. I I recommend that game. I don't know how much it costs and if that's something you you factor in, but it's a it's a short game but a fun game. Swords of Ditto. I just unfortunately didn't like it very much. That's why that series ended. This is me testing out my just Assassin's Creed like files. I don't know. Uh, I stopped this Hearthstone series to start this Hearthstone series, which did better, but I canceled because of viewership. I don't know. Wizard of Legend was a. I I should. I'm probably gonna play more Wizard of Legend. I don't think it's canceled. I think I'm just taking a break from it because they're going to add new stuff to it. I hope that they do that soon, um, because there isn't a whole lot of variety in the game from the enemies and layout and bosses there's tons of variety in starting items and or like how you can start with whatever spells and all that uh but there's not a lot of variety in enemies and bosses so i hope that they come out with uh, their update that they're going to do fairly soon all the while gungeon's getting a little bit more sporadic not that i'm sick of it i just like i thought that ag and d the new big update was going to come out any moment but uh, yeah, alas, it's been a, it's been a while. But we're finally getting in the home stretch here. There is Darkest Dungeon. Obviously, this is where we're at now. It only took me about an hour to go through all of that. But uh, I don't know. It's just it's been a long, long journey going up to this point to <laughs> to ten thousand subscribers, and uh, I I I appreciate. I appreciate all of it. Like it, it's been insane. I'm a completely different person. My, as you can see, my videos are just not even remotely the same as what they used to be. Like I, not even close. Like Retromation, how have you been doing this for six, seven years, and your uh, your channel is only at ten thousand subscribers? Well, because I basically started twenty different channels. <laughs> you know, like every time I completely did a shift in my genre, like in video length and commentary style. I kind of reset myself to zero. So I, I effectively think my channel kind of really started around um, like Ziggurat. That's that's when I kind of sort of picked something and stuck to it. <clears throat> Ugh, stuck to it. I'm dying here. We're in the home stretch though. But I, uh, yeah, the, so been like 10,000 subscribers special kind of just going back through it. Uh, I don't know. Random, random things throughout. I just, yeah, I, I, it's been, uh, it's been wild and it's, it's by far like my favorite experience that I've really been a part of. Like, uh, it's, it's not my job at all and it never has been. <laughs> and cause I like, I, I just, I really, really don't make a ton. So I just, I just do it because of the comments are so fun to read and just like sharing games with people. 
Like I play a game like Darkest Dungeon, I'm like, everybody's heard of this. I get five or six comments like right away. This game is cool. I've never heard of this. Like, and it's, that's really neat. Like I'm, sh I love to share these cool games that aren't super out in the open. Like they're not, they're definitely not like completely obscure, but they are to some people, you know, people who only see standard channels, like, like really huge channels playing huge games. Uh, it's fun to share some of these things that are, yeah, awesome. Like the devs pour their heart and soul into it for uh 20th of the, the, uh, sales pool, um, the target market or whatever. It's fun to share it. And it's fun to just like open up, have a stream of consciousness, conscious, con, wow, consciousness for like 45 minutes of my life, just kind of lay it on out on the line. My thought process, usually about the game, sometimes about something goofy, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Throughout the years, like I've started a Facebook page, a <laughs> subreddit, a discord channel. I've, I've done all of these things. Shout out to the discord channel though. Like awesome, awesome community. Awesome place helps me really feel like I'm, you know, uploading my stuff to a community. Like, if you watched this far and you just want to talk to me, come into that Discord. That's where you can do it. I, like, I don't know. I I love the process. As weird and <laughs> and messy as it's been, I like I wouldn't change any part of it. And I think that we're finally at a time right now, ten thousand subscribers, where I have a a clear idea about where where things are really going. Uh, what what I can kind of focus on a little bit more. This past uh, past two weeks have been outrageously the highest growth I've ever had. So I just wanted to, for all of you people who are coming in random, like from whatever Gungeon source it is, or maybe something else, just wanted to share a bit of history of this channel. I know that there's still some people who are watching that have been watching for six years, like off and on for six years. That is insane. I, I am doing completely different videos, and that is amazing that you're still you know still around massive props to all of you who have like grown up with me like i said like i was like 17 when i started i i've sprung into adulthood i i live with just me and my girlfriend and we're like in a very small one bedroom apartment about to move into to renting like a a, a house space and i i'm growing up and I've grown up with this channel and every, oh man, I don't want to cry. Uh, I've grown up with this channel and everything like that. I've, I, we got my, like my, my childhood pets passed away. I got my, you know, pets of my own people. Like I don't talk to like any of the people from the, the start of my series, but like there's people who've, who've stayed. Like I've been talking, you know, with Etheron this, this whole time. We just met some I I don't know exactly how it happened. Some I think I think I I found him. I don't know how I found his Minecraft videos, which he doesn't definitely doesn't do anymore. But I, somewhere along the line, I don't remember. I think I found him first, and we just yeah I don't know we we stayed or you know in contact, stayed friends this whole time, and like it's wild. It's wild. I I like I met my girlfriend like probably before. I can't remember when I started the channel, the exact date, but I, I think before, definitely met before the channel, but we got together like right in the beginning. So we've been together basically the whole time and I don't know, just so much has changed. So much has grown. I, I can't wait to see, like, hopefully, hopefully this, uh, this new trend, it, it stays true and we can, we can go great places together and you guys can be the, the watching this right now. Maybe you can be like the people, <laughs> you know, the people who were around in the beginning in my like you know who were for some reason watching my league of legends days and are still watching I, I don't know i i'm not stopping anytime soon it's it's one of my greatest passions to be working on this on this project this channel and i i just want to make it i want to make it great i really do i want to i want you guys to have a have a fun place to come and listen to just a stream of consciousness where i'm try i try to stay super positive that's how i like to keep my life as best as i can it's, you know, it's it's hard time sometimes too, though. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this insane hour-long foray back through the history of Retromation. 
I just wanted to do just a random candid video. I am, I do have another thing planned for 10,000 subscribers. Maybe it's out already. Maybe it's not. Uh, I did promise a bunch of people in my discord that at 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to be playing a horror game, which I, uh, I'm a little bit nervous for because I am a Freddy baby boy. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. I don't know. My stipulation is I kind of want to play a good one. So maybe we will, but we're going to do that. And uh, that's just kind of be going to be my little celebration here. I just wanted to, it's been a long time coming. Uh, 10,000 seems so far away in the beginning, but I really ought to stop talking now. An hour, an hour is a long time. What is this? Gungeon? <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching. Oh man. Check out my other social medias if you want to see more candid-ish stuff. Like, I have a Twitter, RetromationYT, because Retromation is taken. You fool, give it back. Uh, don't follow me on Facebook. I don't do anything there. Yeah, basically, just Twitter and Discord, I'd, if you want more candid-type stuff. Uh, Patreon, if you're a wild lad. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you, everybody, for watching all these years. You crazy goons. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.